Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In a week from now, on July 12th, Sony will release their new high-end APS-C camera, the A6700 that you are waiting for. This camera is going to be a beast of a camera. I'm very excited about this camera, but according to the leaks and to the latest rumors about this camera, I'm not very hyped as I was a few weeks and few months ago about this camera and I'll tell you why. So according to the leaks, this camera will have seven stops in body image stabilization. It's going to be capable to shoot in 4K 60 frames per second, in 6K 30 frames per second, and with a firmware update it can go up to 4K 120 frames per second, such as the case with the Sony zv one And it's going to have the same AI features as the Sony zv one of course. And I believe that this camera is going to be priced around 2,000 euros or a little bit more. So that was it for today's video. It was a very short one. I just wanted to share with you the latest leaks of the Sony A6700 that will be released on July 12th. I'm not gonna buy it if the leaks were correct. I'm very satisfied with my Fujifilm XS20. It has 4K 60 and it's gonna have the 4K 120 very soon. I can shoot open gate in 6.2K. It has only one card slot. That's the main downside comparing to the A6700 from Sony. I have an EVF on this camera. I have a very nice touch screen. I have a pop-up flash, of course, and I have everything that I want. I'm really loving the color science of the Fujifilm cameras comparing to the Sony cameras in the last few years. So I'm very satisfied with this camera. The autofocus is not the fastest comparing to the Sony cameras, of course, but Fuji has made lots of improvements in the recent cameras. So the autofocus on this Fujifilm XS20 is way better than all the previous generation of the Fujifilm cameras. And here it is. Don't forget to thumbs up under this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it. And see you on another one. Ciao.